What's up, Zox fam? And we're back with some more dislike. Now, I don't know if Lilith is just trying to sit here and butter us up before anniversary. I have no idea what this is, but I got to be one of the ones to say this. Uday is one of the best event espers we have gotten to date, okay? Now, the reason why I feel this way, we're going to get into that. She's offering us some amazing stuff. So again, guys, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss on any of the exclusive content. And let's go ahead and dive into this, okay? Because this is actually really important because this is a unit that you can R6, all right? So uh, with that, let's go ahead and jump into what she does, okay? So S1, Star Bubble. Um, I didn't go over her uh, in the initial video of the characters. I actually forgot about her. Um, so yeah. We're going to go over her entire kit. Uh, so first thing she has, damage, um, one enemy, 100% of attack, okay? 60% chance of inflicting speed down for two turns and grants one random ally 20% AP. Uh, now, this is where it starts to get a little ridiculous. So Cyrus's, uh, Cyrus's Ward. Uh, so grants one ally absorbed in shield for three turns, right? Shield strength is 100% of their max HP, Shield strength is 100% of their max HP. Why are you emphasizing that, Zox? Oh, I'll tell you, chat. I'll tell you, chat, okay? Listen, this is the thing. They're literally allowing her to give someone a whole entire HP bar in shield. <laughs> now, granted, somebody are y'all, we'll just strip it. Well, dude, if you don't have a stripper, if you're doing PVE content where you just need sustainability, that is broken. She's literally doubling whoever she does, decides to place it on, whoever it is, if you got a character that's super squishy and you're getting nuked, she's the answer. Slap that extra 100% HP shield on them, right? So that's something that is absolutely massive. And then on top of that, as that person is working down shield, if they had any HP missing, they got absorbed. So they're restoring that damage into hp it's just kind of ridiculous right so then s3 uh attacks all enemies it's a uh, galactic wave uh damage is 90 percent of attack dispels two debuffs from each ally grants some attack up for two turns i i mean just ridiculous right uh hp lead 30 percent ritual miracle sonic miracle desert lands and sentinel hunt i can obviously see her working in like by like pieces of content like that for survivability uh, because she does give the attack up she can also help scale your damage as well so that's huge uh now of course with that as far as a build goes i would actually i honestly think that her optimal build is going to be ocean waves um really just because of the fact that if you can get her s2 to rotate more because the thing that also makes this broken is it's a three turn like lasting ability that's on a three turn cooldown so as soon as it is done on an ally or you know if it's not damaged off first then she's going to be able to give it right back to him or give it to another unit and if you have uh like ocean waves on that means you'll be able to rotate this skill a lot quicker because uh, there's nothing that stops it from being skill cooldown uh so ocean waves hp percent hp percent are you gonna do defense hp just making her tanky survivability i think the biggest thing is just that she survives really um i got her in stone uh stone vine you can go master groove or groove set uh so i got her on speed though because she does actually have a fairly high base speed she's at uh 106 um so that's actually really really nice so you definitely want her to be going a lot quicker or faster than um a lot of your other opponents especially if you're having to deal with like someone getting nuked uh that's definitely going to be a huge huge plus right so nothing too crazy into the builds now i also want to mention her resos just because she is a unit you can get to r6 reasonably as a free to play whereas other characters is like you know just kind of to the gotcha gods uh so what you're getting r1 is some extra damage on the uh, cyrus's ward uh, r2 if there's an ability on cooldown you get an additional 20 speed which is like really good base attack increase on uh Rezo 3 um then on r4 when granting shield shield strength is plus 30 percent so the thing is is that you're already giving 100 percent of uh the hp of that character and then you're giving it an additional 30 percent now the thing is is that that is just going to be a massive, massive thing when you're talking about tankiness. Like that's why I'm like, I don't know what they was thinking. Um, so then five uh, is going to give you more base stat increase, and then the six, which is going to morph Cyrus's ward, uh, new effect reset all ability cooldowns on the target as well. Uh, this effect will not work on uh, Yude uh, herself. 
the cooldown on Cyrus's ward is not affected by any ability. So I'm not gonna lie, this is a absolutely broken Esper. Like anyone that mi is missing out on this event is like it is gonna suck because the thing is, is that she's a shimmer. So if you know when they do decide to throw her into the gotcha, um, having to rely on trying to pull her, yeah, good luck, right? So you're gonna definitely want to capitalize off of getting her while you have the opportunity to, right? So let's go ahead and take her into the BR battlegrounds. And what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and let's let's swap this team up some. Okay, guys, so I just slapped together a random team just to kind of show her defensive capabilities. Uh, now, uh, or support defensive capabilities. Now, uh, the cool thing about this is that uh, with this setup, um, I tried to make sure there was no other shield units in the team because I wanted to give that full value of that 100% shield strength uh or sh uh, being off of their uh max hp so uh let's go ahead and use that on i don't know let's just use it on our max stuff unit here there we go okay that's a freaking lot of shield that is a lot of shield okay so that's insane actually and you have that lasting for three turns that is a lot of shield so let's go ahead and do that um let's see what does this do i forgot what the s2 does i think it just gives speed up if you oh yeah reset cooldowns yeah let's go ahead and use that on her so you put her with like a unit that can reset cooldowns that is actually like really op right so there's that <laughs> he's oh my god he's all gone like that's that that's just insane not even gonna lie that's just insane and then also Ahmed resets cooldowns so if you can have her on a properly built up team to help you get her skill um, of course if you have her on ocean waves because you wouldn't necessarily have like a whole bunch of skill cooldown units but to be fair you can get this ability to rotate a significant amount um so let's go ahead and place that on nua right there so now we got two units like dude imagine having to try to take all that shield down and you didn't have like someone to strip that like that's that's annoying all right so there we go we got a defense up on top of all of that shield which is just like god they're, they're not gonna ever kill us so yeah they're, they're like yeah i'm already like thinking you place her with like units like nuwa I, I mean even if the person does get a turn dude are you are, are they really gonna work through a hundred percent shield like no probably not like that that's just like so broken it's just so broken dude and then all right so let's take a look at the s3 so this attacks our enemy and it dispels uh two debuffs from each ally if they had any but let's just look at the visual they don't have any so nothing really matters so let's see so that's you know that's a little cute animation i mean we'll take it for what it's worth um but yeah i mean getting it being able to also dispel debuffs like that too is actually pretty huge not gonna lie uh so right away she's already rotating back and they still have not like they still have not lost their shield strength and the thing is is that she's literally about to rotate right back into it so whoever she gave to it first is going to get it right back again so just to kind of do that for video sake um let's just s1 here right because i want to i want to show you the power here all right so oh wow they ran out of shield i'm so sad right <laughs> I, I, i'm so sad they ran out of shield you know i i wish they had shield oh wait here we go oh wow it's like they never let <laughs> and that's like the fight but so, yeah when you look at her protection dude look at that that's a ridiculous amount that is a ridiculous amount 65k and keep in mind guys this was only a three minute fight we were taking our time we weren't even going fast so yeah I, I'm, I'm honestly like seeing so much potential with her. I feel like she's going to be able to work in some uh, Chronos with that ability. Like, because if you kind of think about like um, units that we typically use, like uh, Odette, for example, um, the fact that she's like doing kind of sort of some of those things just minus the invincibility and the debuffs that Odette can give, uh, she still gives the attack up, which is really huge just to scale your damage. So as long as you have that defense break, She's going to be offering you extra coverage, uh, extra attack. So she's disgusting. I'm not even going to lie. Like this is probably, like, like I said, this is probably one of the best freebies that we have gotten. And it's a shimmer. And I would say the last like top, top tier that was a shimmer that we got was Odette. 
Um, and I will say so far, they have not been disappointing with the quality of units that we've been getting for free. Um, as of late, I would definitely say it's gotten so much better. They actually look like characters that will give you value in multiple pieces of content and not just someone you're just going to vote, you know? Um, so that's pretty much going to be that with this one, guys. Let me know how you guys feel. Again, you get this unit for free, R6, and this is only at R1. This is the value you get at R1. So R6 is just going to be even more amazing uh, just to make this unit even more OP. So we're all going to be running around with a broken, you know, epic unit. So there's that. But everyone, make sure you stay blessed, stay charged up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.